Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. What you're seeing here is the 18-wheeler has brought our new wood heater in. And he can't get down to our house, so we've had to drive up to the main blacktop road and meet him up there with the tractor to try to pick this thing up with the forks and get it back to the house. It was like three weeks in delay getting to us, but it finally has arrived here at Deep South. And You can see here I'm easing up with the tractor very carefully with the forks, trying to make sure I get it picked up and get it out of the back of the truck. We're not going to let the guy leave with it until I cut the side of the box open to make sure that there's nothing wrong with the stove. Being as I had to wait an extra almost three weeks to get it here because it was sitting in a warehouse less than 30 miles from us and the phone number was wrong and they wouldn't even call the company back to see about getting the stove here. It wasn't until I actually got on to them and found a stove. You see there the neighborhood just started burning the woods right when we pulled up there. And I've got this long drive back down the driveway to my house and Wanda's trying to make sure that everything goes all right in the front and the back. She's watching for me to make sure nothing falls out. And you see this is where we cut the box open to make sure that the stove was intact and there was no damage to it actually anywhere, nothing broken or nothing missing. We're headed into the home place there with it now. We'll be heading around behind our house to actually we're going to have to put it up on the deck to be able to get it in the house. There's actually no access to my house from the front with a tractor, so we had to bring it completely around behind the house because this thing weighs several hundred pounds. And we're trying to be as careful as we can with it to get it in. We were lucky to be able to use a tractor to be able to get it up to the deck because that made it a whole lot simpler about getting it installed in the house here because when you're just one guy trying to handle something this big and this bulky and heavy that weighs several hundred pounds uh, there's just virtually no way for one person to move it by themselves so we use a tractor to get it on the deck with and then once we got it loaded onto the deck then we had to figure out a way in which we was going to get it into the house because it was supposed to rain that night. But when we got here, we noticed that the door was already open on the heater when it came. And we didn't know if there was an issue with it or not. We couldn't close the handle. We couldn't close the door. As I show you here in this thing, we tried several times to close the door. But the way that it was crated, there was just no possible way. So we decided to begin to uh, dismantle the crate and check to make sure that the door would shut before we went any further and they had it all banded up everywhere and all so i got that taken care of and then i said well in order to lighten the load up as much as possible i said i need to start unloading this thing and getting some of the stuff off of it some of the weight out of it as you can see there it was a vogelzang heater it um was one for three thousand square foot which is a little bit large for our house but we feel like that um it won't be won't be too big and, and here i was trying to figure out how they had this thing packaged and finally i figured out that there was an art to actually getting that blower box out of there because it comes with a blower they had the blower stacked down in the uh, the ash pan which was actually stuck inside the heater I'm just at this point doing my best to lighten the load up as much as possible i'm going to be taking the door off of the heater and everything because it's um when a when a heater weighs as many pounds as this one does it being solid steel construction plus all the fire brick in it and the cast iron and everything i felt like it would uh you know it would be easier for me to go this route than it would to try to lift this whole wood stove up and get it in the house with all this extra weight on it you see here, I, I began to try to dismantle this thing to get the heater out just so I can make sure the door shuts. That's the main thing that I was wanting to do is to just be sure that that door shut without any problems before I went too far with this thing. And as it was, it was the way it was packaged. It did shut fine. And here we have my neighbor, Daryl. He comes over 
and begins to help me you with um, play chalk for the kids, baby? installing the wood heater. We're trying to get it measured and laid out as to exactly where it goes because it's so heavy. And once it sets off of that pallet, there's not much moving that you can do to it. Okay, ready for the next phase, hooking up the pipe. 